Welcome. In this series of environment classes, we would be focusing on some of the really important issues. Duncan Flotty is one of such issues, a very popular term nowadays in the regions of Europe and UK. Now, this is a German term which actually means dark lull. This concept came into light only when we started thinking about renewable sources of energy. Now, when we talk about renewable sources of energy, the first thing that comes to our mind is solar energy, wind energy. What happens if there is a cloudy, windless atmosphere? In that case, you won't have ample of solar energy, ample of wind energy. As a result, the energy units, the electricity production would not be functional and this would lead to a dark lull. And therefore, renewable energies have been cursed because of this concept and whenever there is a dark lull, what happens is you need to switch your dependence automatically or immediately onto fossil fuels. Now, in case you do that, you need to ensure that the plants which have been running on fossil fuels have significant economic implications because it's not all of the sudden that one day you would have the plant that would run and then 30 days you won't require that. That won't be an economically viable aspect. So it's really important to understand this concept. Now usually during the months of October, November, nearly in an average every month you have 50 to 100 hours per month which is witnessed as a period of dark and that is just because this renewable energy cannot be obtained the reason being it's cloudy it is cold and it is windless now when it is cloudy cold and windless you cannot have the solar and the wind power generate sufficient energy and this leads to severe electricity shortage in the regions now this has also been considered as one of the very important meteorological phenomena because when i say there is no solar no wind to generate electricity it means what happens is the weather conditions are not favorable also the dependence on the renewable energy as has increased this problem has significantly paced into more stronger forms and there are dark doldrums which can be seen now these are also called as dark lulls or dark doldrums uh, nearly one fifth of the total production comes from wind energy and therefore it's really significant to understand now here we have a scenario from 2012 and 2020. You can simply compare and understand that in the period of 2012, there was a significant dependence which was seen on coal, nuclear and gas power. However, this has significantly increased in the form of renewable energy in the last few years. And this is just one week of the May of 2020 and you can see how significant dependence on renewable energy have started. Now, this is not a common scenario only in Europe. Uh, countries like Japan are also facing the same issue during the months of winters as well as summers. Uh, when the uh, summers you see a kind of uh, uh, stationary fronts there would be windless days and there wouldn't be enough wind energy to generate electricity also uh, with the arrivals of uh, the cyclonic conditions this condition deteriorates because there won't be ample of solar energy at that time and this is one of the reasons that renewable energy though comes with numerous benefits there have to be a possible um, outlook to it that needs to be explored it could be in the form of hydrogen energy that could be explored but other sources need to be uh, taken into account as we proceed our studies with